this world. Hello, Captain. With any luck, maybe we can find a vein of platinum or neodymium. Anything to make this trip worthwhile. Definitely know your way around a lock.
might as well explore this cave. With any luck, we'll stumble across a mineral deposit or two. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Triumphant. to this new way of life for you? Yes. I would say that the proper adjustments are being made. The most difficult part has been acclimating to what you perceive as the more... Um, insignificant customs. Interesting. Such as? Comes with the territory, I suppose. Care to share your troubles? I am concerned with how the rest of Constellation perceives my presence. Regardless of how I present myself, I feel as though they're looking at me with disdain, rather than comradeship. Honestly, I think you're being a bit paranoid. Everyone I've spoken to has nothing but complimentary things to say about you. If that is truly the case, why do I often find myself excluded from other members' activities and gatherings? Having someone from House Varun among us is a new experience. I'm certain they're unsure if you even wish to be approached at all. Give them time, Andresia. They'll come around. I promise.
were due for one. The, uh, contents, they're what we agreed on? Yes, Vladimir and I agreed on what should be included. That's all fine, then. Do let me know if you get a response. That is highly unlikely, but if it happens, I will be sure and tell you.
Hmm. Not exactly a pot of gold, but this will do.
did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. Uh, I might say that many do. It is surprising to find someone else from Constellation who agrees with me. <laughs> they tend to avoid conflict wherever possible. What experience led you to that belief? What did you do before Constellation? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless, Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be... unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not. They are fanatics having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the gal- So, in this I would say I have done the gal- Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything- Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here, and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us.
What can I help you with? Ask whatever you'd like. Bye for now.
Yeah, what is it? Until later. United Colonies Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Attack. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All elite. Copy that. Stand. I've heard you've been making the settled system safer. It's not much, but take this. Contrary to what you might have heard, you see security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi, just happens to be an old friend. as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock or in the hands of an... A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. I wasn't aware we were competing, but game on. 
Oh no, don't you two start. We're supposed to be working together, not competing. What's wrong with a little rivalry here and there? I think it pushes us to be at our best. Or causes nothing but arguments. Arguments which then breed distrust. Noel is right, Matteo. Well, I suppose there was that one time, and then the other. Mm, what do you think? A little competition can't be that bad, can it? Exactly. We're all friends here. Why shouldn't we want to bring out the best in each other? The best shouting, you mean? The halls of the lodge echo, you know. I'm siding with Matteo on this one as well. I find that a little competition is the spark people need to push themselves to achieve their goals. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Yes. So am I. Let me know if you need me. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Yes? Time to go? What's new? Sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? Gladly. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some... I'm not a fearful man, but I am. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. On Bendy? No, wait, it was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. Well, he certainly means something, because not everyone who touches the artifacts sees them. My first instinct was it was a message of some kind, like the Voyager records. Communication from a higher life form reaching out blindly into... But now I'm wondering if the vision wasn't just sensory. My new theory is something's changed in us physiologically, as in not just a message from beyond, but a delivery. Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw... a vision. Flashing lights, the whole shebang. Sure, like... Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, mm, my work, and long walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> What else did you want to know about? Let me know if there's any... Right. No worries.
Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all.
See that shroud covering Neon? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Looking at this, this is Ebside Strikers turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory. Got it. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you would never. Ugh. Yeah, you used to be. People were afraid of the Strikers. We had a name. Got it. Now the Disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. 
But the disciples? <laughs> Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the disciples. Now look at us. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the upside strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Take it easy. Strikers look out for one another, right? killing people around here anymore we shouldn't be doing Strike that look anyhow. Out for one another right you want to join us we're a gang you understand that right not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about we steal we mug we kill if we have to people that come to us have usually run out of options so are you really interested There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line, but I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Ebside is where all the loser and sad stories end up. Once Neon and Administrator Bayou has used them up. Surviving here ain't easy. Sometimes blood's got to flow just to get food based on your plate. But we only take what we have to. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Now you are speaking my language. Good. 
I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. I can't understand this sudden urge to join the Strikers gang. I can think of about a hundred better ways you could be spending your time. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Well, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. things for you. I do. So long.
If the disciples spot you, they're gonna attack straight away. I had another life, but I lost it all. Taken from me. Vogel and I were cast... We couldn't find work after months. Things got dark. So crime was the only option. We picked up misfits and unfortunates from there, but... Huh. So you did the job? And nobody had to die. That was one hell of an audition. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. As soon as I realized that the Disciples had sniper rifles and assault rifles, I ordered everyone to go to ground. But we can't keep it up forever. All we need to be back in the game are weapons of our own. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a hatchet for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. The Ebside Strikers used to rule the streets. Well, some of them. Neon's a living thing, and it feasts on our pain. Hmm. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. Andrea does what she has to. Respect that. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets, they chew up the weak, they leave them... You are funny. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs. Signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there? That is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood. But I say, make the disciples bleed at every chance. Here are three locations. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. I think you're gonna fit in well. And I hope you are too. down here. Oh, how can these workers stand the smell of rotten fish and goodness knows what else? Uh, what do we have here? Decided to drop by on Neon and do a little vandalism, huh? There's a steep fine for that. Zero tolerance. Tell you what, you pay the fine now and I'll let you off with a warrant. Maybe. But as soon as you started putting up... No, they didn't. Maybe I did. Fine, fine. Just get out of here. Thanks. 
gonna say this to Before you hit something, you'll regret it. I can't take much more of this! any gear. Bye.
pretty sure you weren't supposed to take that. I think you're gonna fit in well. Really well. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. Then today's your lucky day. I generally don't condone bloodshed, but anything we can do to rid this city of that vermin will be a pleasure. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor, not mail-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. All the strikers owe you big. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for those strikers. I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Then you were right. I didn't want to go into detail before because, well, just hear me out. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12, including my own. No. This is important. I need to tell you this. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. I 
I believe you. But you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. It was my duty as acting captain to be the last person to leave the Dauntless. We had more than one escape shuttle available. So, I elected to wait until they were... safe. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command... <sighs> My crew would have had more time to escape. Try telling that to their loved ones. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. That's true, but still, it doesn't erase the real issue here. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator Corps going? Well, this time... Pushing too hard cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. You still have faith in me. I don't even know what to say. I never realized how much you cared about me. You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Dreaming of this. <laughs> oh, finally, Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I'll be telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. <laughs> you better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard, in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? 
Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons, cash, snag the big guns. <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Briggs ain't the only one. Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Oh, dear Lord. All these gangs are a menace. Because they're bottom-feeding parasites, us businessmen have to draw... They are... All right already, all right. You pay, and I'll send Briggs his armor. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. That's not a discount. Don't think I'm... If you don't like it... I heard you the first time, and didn't care then either. No discount. Take it or leave it. stocked and ready to sell much better thanks for it I don't exactly know what you said to Dietrich he's really stepped up and taken an active role in fight but best of all I think we've become oh dear lord all these gangs are up they are all right all right you pay I don't want anything that's not a discount in my experience... You know what? That does make sense. Fine, fine. You can have your discount if you just stop your... I'll get the armor over to me. I hope not. 
to God helping them. No problem. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Line of equipment and accessories. People joke, say those Varun Zemets worship.
talk to you later. We got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. Yeah, that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Hey, same here. Little element of surprise and a few bullets. And then no worries. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie, taking it is going to be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Going guns blazing? We hold back? They won't know what hit them. You heard the plan. Let's do it. Downstairs, now! Security. I recognize that concept of tone anywhere. Hands off weapons. Neon security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence. A bit of murder. Word is, all of this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? You wouldn't know the first thing about my job. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the Disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue and starts wearing Neon Security Black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. Free to go as far away from here as you like. The further the better, in my book. 
setting street rad against street rad is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a... a cop. Shit. We could get a real pad. Maybe even move out of Epside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon Security seriously will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? It's almost too much to hope for. This is the chance to leave your life of crime behind you. I would take it before it disappears. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, know we'll be forever grateful. Any time. How about now? With resources and backup, the streets are gonna be safer. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut. Can I help? Goodbye.
I don't want to hear any complaints. Rumor mill says Ron Hope got shot when the Rangers tried to arrest him. Not sure if I buy it. how laissez-faire Hope Town is. It's a good place to trade. The Trade Authority and Hope Tech have a profitable arrangement here. What are you up to? I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies. Meant for orphans. Or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on scene. I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smug. Well, I do, but more violent. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. 
Not sure what. I feel stuck. Might be time for a change. Maybe. Maybe not. I admit, you look like a tough customer. It's the same damn thing, day in and day out. It's not easy. But I don't kill people that don't need killing. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you are shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Whatever you say, Fahim. You almost sound believable. One more drink and it's lift off. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. You're right. I'll see what I can do. You're a literal lifesaver. Take this.
I don't think we're going to find much excitement around here. No wonder no one will work for you. My man is missing, and you're all just here, what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gate? Mr. Halftown, we are trying. But we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security officer has been put into the infirmary trying to find your worker. We're doing everything we can. All I ask is that you, and your crew, be patient. You have nothing to fear from us convicts. We are handling it. Then get it done. Or else we are going to have problems. You have my word. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues, a missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. Well, at the moment, it's primarily a collection of shipping containers and unused... But the plan is to make this place into a growth and education residence for the galaxies incarcerated. We'll offer job training and a support network for folks that otherwise just while away their days in prison just because they didn't have the... Get them all the tools they need to set up regular, boring lives like the rest of us. Well, thank you. Always striving to make my presence in the universe a net positive. But still got a lot of ground to cover. But I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to listen to me blabber. You're probably exhausted. Monica should have any supplies you might need. She's just out front of the main building. And our ship services tech is out near the landing pad if your vessel needs some tending to. And if you need anything else, or just want to talk, you come find me. That the truth? Because I can't say it's going to be easy work. But if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all over. This planet, it's not the most accommodating to human life. It's wild, empty, and the local fauna. So while I will absolutely take your help if you're offering, Well, he was last seen a few days ago. We sent our lone security officer to find him. So if you're off... I appreciate the moxie. First things first. You want to speak to Greg DeAng? He was wounded searching for our worker, Mr. Kilman's trail. Why would someone build a place like this way out here, on the fringes of the settled systems?
All this intricate work and impressive construction. It's ambitious, but still, so out of place in such a remote location. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Can't a guy heal in peace? Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully, ugh, you'll have better luck than I did. I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixil's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there. Greg will be able to get you on the right track. Should we search for minerals?
Well, I'm pleased to see this isn't a dead end. Rad count is rising. Time to go. Anything here you can use? Going back. Stay away. Oh God, please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say. Just please, not the bag. What happened? You're you're not here to. I I was kidnapped. He caught me off guard after hours, threw a bag over my head and marched me off. But I escaped. But then these creatures started hunting me. So I ran in here. And I've got no food and I'm so hungry and... Please, take me back. I just want to go home. No. No, he kept the bag over me the whole time. I heard his voice. But he honestly didn't say much when I was around. I'm just... I need this to be over. Please. Please, can we go? Please? You've got nothing to fear. We're here to help. Oh, thank God. You don't know what that... Oh, come on, let's, let's get out of here. You do know the way back, right? If you need help carrying in this, you just let me know. Fancy a bit of spelunking, do we?
Mother of God, kid. What happened? I was walking out, and someone threw a bag over my head. They took me... I don't know. It smelled like the inside of the first aid kit. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks bagged him, huh? Us? Why the hell would we do that? Waste of a perfectly good bag. You're rambling, kid. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like used welder's gear. Mr. Halftown, I have some medical training. I'd be happy to. You stay away from me. I want whoever kidnapped my man found and dealt with, understand? I don't care if it's one of your people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find them. Of course. We'll do what we can. But... I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. Are you going to find him? The guy who took me? Ah, I, I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, you have my sincerest thanks. But now, We've got a whole new th What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help? Fine. I'm sure I can convince Nevin to... Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least... That's right. Not a lot of proper facilities like that in the area. Which makes me think there was a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like... Here. The facility's coordinates. Can I help? Bye. I'll keep an eye out for hostile life. would never come, but here you are. On our way back from a supply run, a massive storm. We all got out of there as fast. He must have gotten hurt in all of the chaos. We need... Thank you so much. Please, be careful. Right. Back.
Well, I suppose they're not going to need it.
done that before.
You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Hmm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names, but there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. It's really not that impressive. I used to sell these on the semi. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's computer hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain. It's the official guild of the galaxy's bounty hunters, known for relentlessly stalking their targets in pursuit of a payday. To a tracker, any person with an outstanding record is a coin purse, ready to be cut open and emptied of value. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding said person's record, there are few groups more ruthless. Though, it's surprising that they've intervened here, where there's no obvious money to be made. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them, the... But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they... Well... It means they might be willing to negotiate with the right. I'm sure we can find a way to solve this issue, which won't require bloodshed. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here. Get the drop on them and send them to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. I think you should offer them money. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. I'd hand them those credits. I'd hand them those credits I gave you. Currently, very little. 
But once we're open, should that day ever come, we hope to have all manner of training and personal development courses available for our residents. Most of our staff are formerly incarcerated themselves, so we hope to be able to provide a level of service unlike any other in the galaxy. Currently, but once we're, should that day ever, we hope to have all, most of our staff. Ah, I am the, I was a neighborhood administrator for years in New Atlanta, home to many of the UC's most underprivileged citizens. I saw firsthand what havoc the bounty system could cause in a neighborhood. Parents in prison, money funneled away from basic needs. It can become a cycle. Here, we hope to give people the tools to escape it. Take care, please. They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try it and... So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make... Good luck out there. Are you looking for my suggestion? Those two deserve to be kebabs. Watch your back out there. You deal with this. Now watch your back out there. You deal with this. However you want. Did I mention thanks for taking these two on? Try not to be too... to deal with my fair share of that kind. You get into it to be your own boss. Let him know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just... Be careful with those goons. What is it? Maybe another time.
reminds me of a book I read as a child. It was about an expedition to the center of the Earth. One of my favorites.
But who's that? No clue. You! Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen. Unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys, like the UC and the Collective, set up programs of their own, just like Elios. Put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip it in the bud now, before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. There's no need for unnecessary bloodshed. That's so. I... I guess that's a good point. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. We'll leave him alone, all right? Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Was there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely, or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing. But thank you, all the same. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. That's why I need you by my side. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to keep me in check. 
I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just... not ready. Not yet. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Don't mind. I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Yeah, take a look at this. I don't mind at all. Honestly, it felt it wasn't until the UC rescue ship picked me up. The escape shuttle had some supplies, but those ran. Fortunately, Cassiopeia is a lush planet with plenty of flora. Logan and I have rarely agreed on anything. In fact, I'm fed. When word came down that my division was being mothballed, I stormed. Mm. We haven't spoken. Sure. Good. If you think it will help, then. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. I'm new taking this job as a There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? It... it's done? Well... I guess I better get started. This place, all there is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked. Ah, there you are. So. And we are exceeding? It's just... the situation you set right, with the trackers. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly... Is that something you might be... An ah, chill. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief, and I would ask you to try. I heard that the walls of Aquila City were built to prevent nocturnal predators from overrunning the place. If you're looking for a 
Sam has told me so many stories about Aquila City. <laughs> I feel as though I've lived here all my life. to steer clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. Hours closed. Come back some other time. Hmm. You're there. I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one. You're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter. Rule two. You decide to get playful with that weapon. Think you can abide by those? This conversation ain't happening unless you do. Now... Suppose I can take that as a yes. Fine. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly. It's a project that's near and dear to my heart. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now. Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I suspect there was more to it, but I suppose that'll be enough for the report. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. Should be the missing piece that ensures the retreat is around for many years to come. Let's hope so. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them. The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov and left them to their own devices. Well, 
Those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment, took over the colony, and now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done.
there'll be plenty of time for shooting later. Chance I might <sighs> the Ellie. I hope our donor was considerate currently. But once we're open, we hope to have all manner of training. Most of our staff are formally incarcerated themselves. Ah, I'm the... F she handles most, making sure we've got the right... I keep the lights on. Currently, but once we're open, we hope to have all manner of... Most of us. Oh, until next time then. All you've done... Just happening through our... Ne Nevin told me about your summons. Our... Hey, I'm sure you... Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing... We're in the process of vetting more security. Look, whatever gets this place closer to be... It's hard to say for certain. We're only just now in a... But with time, we'll get there. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. Let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back.
excited to see Tony after work. Ready for action, Captain. Did you need something? Good day, Captain. You should inspect your sh Every couple landings, they'll cause plenty of havoc.
Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. scenery. Personally, I think daylight's over him. I look around. You see he's a big organization. A lot of planets. Sometimes stuff. But that's all right. Because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk. You get some low prices. Everyone wins. Take your time. Watch your back out there.
You ask me, the real new... Absolutely. Need something else? I'll be here. All this stuff is legit. Take your time. Hey, take it easy. Hey, stick to targets that shoot back, okay? I got contacts on. Happy to make a deal. Take your time.
A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. Hmm? I like it. More real down. But hey. Hey, take it easy. Always good to see another batch. 